So yesterday, update 38 was released in Bloom City 6, and we got a brand new map, Water Park, and I was playing it on live stream, and we happened to get a black border run, and I want to show you it, because it's pretty simple, and I think you guys will like it, and be able to get a black border for yourself if you have not yet. So you can use Quincy, which everybody starts off with, which is pretty awesome and easy. Just put them all the way to the bottom right of this slide, because now we can hit both tracks and kind of help us out a bit. Now, I haven't done strategy videos in so long, and it feels so good. I used to do them on my second channel there, where I do, like, really quick ones, or, like, I used to do, like, minute-long strategies, call them 60-second chimps, and that was a lot of fun. But I miss just, like, the good old days of playing strats, but the problem with strats is they change all the time. So you get a lot of comments of people saying, this doesn't work anymore, and then I feel bad, because I'm like, well, it used to. Let's put a sniper right here, though, and put him on strong just to help out our Quincy a little bit. So I thought, what the heck, this isn't a hard map, it's intermediate, it's a cool little stuff going on here, so we can give it a shot. I wanted to use Brickle and her new skin, but the problem with Brickle on this map is she can only attack on this one track, because I haven't found a spot where you can attack on the top water slide, and even though she's water, you can't like place her in the water slide, because I guess she would just, I mean, if you just placed the Brickle in the water slide, you wouldn't have any more problems, all these blooms would just be stopped there, but that's not what we're working with. We're going to grab a, a Druid right here, so he can be on the, actually we want him so he can hit both tracks, huh? So we're going to put him right there see how the top corner is hitting that track you want it to hit the track a little bit just so we get some room because we're not going to be upgrading his range until we get a village like way later on now if you guys want to check out the full live stream i'll leave a link below it's where we discovered like the new trophy store items we fought through this map on hard alternate balloon rounds impoppable and chimps it didn't actually take too long this map's not too crazy but if you guys want to check out the full live stream it's where i get to interact with chat had a lot of fun it's just a different setting than you see here where i'm just a big goofball the whole time well i'm more of a goofball but with people there so it's even more fun and for those of you who still don't have it on apple you should i don't understand why you wouldn't uh make sure that your sniper gets all these stuff here uh we're good to go and then all we need is drew the jungle and I, like, everything gets super easy after that because he just literally keeps everything at the door it seems like it could be a little scary but that's why we have our sniper there because he just makes everything a-okay -okay and better now that we have drew to the jungle we're going to grab this hard thorns right here now the next thing I want to do is I want to get full metal jacket, fast firing, and even faster firing just to make our sniper a little bit better and to make sure that balloons don't like go to the end of the map or anything. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a wizard right here. So he's going to be a little bit harder to place. We're going to place him on the slide as well. Everybody's party on the slide. But once we get his bottom path upgrade, he will get a range boost and then eventually we'll have a village. So we're going to go intense magic, monkey sense... Oh, Monkey Sense made his... Was that Intense or Monkey Sense that made his range so huge? That's crazy. Well, since when did they start doing that? And what was your guys' favorite part about this update? And what was your least favorite part about this update? Not anything specific about your least favorite part. I'm, I guess I'm more talking about, like, your most upset balance change. Like, I saw that the Sniper or the Ninja... Ninja Discipline no longer gives him range. Seeking Shurikens gives him range. That makes no sense. What are you doing, Ninja Kiwi? It makes sense. He's disciplined as a ninja, so his range is better and he can shoot faster. Not his Shuriken seek, so now he can see more. That makes no sense to me. But now that we have Shimmer and we have massive range, uh, camo shouldn't be a problem, really. But now this guy's kind of stuck to only, you know, attacking up there. But it shouldn't be a big deal. Now we're going to grab Necromancer Unpopped Army. And I just learned, I didn't even know this, so he actually goes down whatever track he's supposed to go down. So if it's a multi-lane track, because I used to have so much problems with that. But if you don't target it, so see how there's no red target? So like, for instance, now they're only going to come out of this spot, even on this map. You want to make sure that's not a thing. So you escape it. Oh, no, no. You target and then escape. Okay, now it's good. So you cancel out of it and just make sure he's just normal mode. Now it is going to cause some problems, and I guess that's because of the Druid, since the Druid's cuts them off so far up out of the track that the monkey doesn't even know where he's at. He doesn't even know where he's attacking, which is kind of scary. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get large caliber and deadly precision. This will pretty much just make the Moab non-existent, which is pretty awesome. And here's the thing that I get a little bit nervous about, right? Like, I want to get my mage up to like fireball and then wall of fire, but wall of fire is most likely going to be placed right here. And that's it, which is great. It's still a great tower and a great thing, but then we have nothing to help us on this side. And this side's gonna get really scary really fast. So then I was like, okay, let's just get guided magic and the other one. But honestly, do I wanna change it up for science? Yes, let's get wall of fire right here. Now he has fire on this track, which is probably stupid, right? We probably don't even need that, but it's okay. I remember Prince of Darkness being like 25,000 though. When did it get raised to 28,000? That's so much money. So we might have a problem here in a little bit, but I don't think so as long as we have this guy. It's just this track is the 10 times harder track. This one, he got 25 hours to hit it around these circles. And then as you can see, he gets a little confused and put some of his stuff where he shouldn't. But luckily, 
We do have Quincy and then the Sniper to kind of do all of the damage for us. So, but, you know, things happen. We see $4,000 now, $3,600, and we should be pretty good to go. The 500 graveyard on this guy needs to be increased, though. It is so weak. It's so weak. But this should do it right here. There we go. Now we got the big dog. And now he has 3,000 graveyard if we can pop in his range, which is pretty awesome. So we should just start being at 3,000 the whole time. And then the next thing we want to do here is grab a main Moab. So now he can help us out on round 60 and things like that against the big stuff. And then we're going to go for a jungle's bounty for 5290, preferably before 63. I'm not sure if we're going to get it in time. We might have to use a little bit of an ability scam in here. The only problem with main Moab this early on, which probably should have waited, is that now our graveyard's at zero because he keeps everything stalled for so long. We don't get a good graveyard going, and that's a little bit scary, but it should be okay at the end of the day. Now, we are going to turn off auto start on round 62 because we want to make sure this next part goes flawlessly. And then we're going to grab our jungle's bounty for 5290. Unfortunately, we don't get to use its ability because we don't get any money on Chimp, so that's kind of a huge bummer, but we got to do what you got to do. So see how we're losing a lot of our stuff here? It's kind of a bummer. But what we're going to do is we're going to click the target just for this round because we don't want to have any problems here. And we're going to place it right here. So now it's going to be, well, we want to make sure it's actually on this track only and don't mess around there. And then we might need to use Quince's ability for the first one. You'll see it. So just slow it down. And if it gets too far for us, which it might, are we good? We could just go like that just for a little bit. It's not a big deal. Now we have our graveyard back and we're going to just rock through this round with no problems. It's going to keep everything at the top of the track and we are golden. And we're going to leave auto start off so we can then cancel out our targeting ability. So now we're going to target again and then cancel out of it so it's just normal and go down whatever track it wants to. Easy stuff, I tell you. Not as cut and dry as something like Monkey Meadow, but you're getting a little bit of game mechanics layered in here, which I just learned myself because I was pretty bad with this guy. I just wanted him to go down. I never use him down multi-tracks, to be honest, because I don't like this. This part right here drives me insane. Like, it's just down. He's wasting all of his graveyard on a non-existent track. So you're like, oh, should I move him? But then you're like, no, I don't want to move him because that would be even more work to do. I thought 75 would give us issues, but it was honestly one of the easiest just because we had that full graveyard. It's You think you're going to lose because your graveyard goes down to pretty much nothing. It's like 200, 300, and then boom, he gets 3,000 in one shot. But then this happens, and it drives me crazy. We're losing so many graveyards. Now, you could go back and forth like this and move it and stuff like that, but I don't want to be a part of that. I'm not a part of that lifestyle because we're back to 3,000 again, just that simple. Now, 78 could be a little scary if he does that little backwards stuff, but as you can see, they're all down the right track, so we are good to go. We are golden. And we're just going for 37,800 for our Spirit of the Forest. Let's let's petition for Spirit of the Forest to be 32,000. If he was 32,000, I'd use him even more in chimps. Like right now, we could just grab it at like 79 and call it a day. I think we might still be able to get it at 79 because he's, I mean, relatively like cheap, I guess. And like we get a lot of money on 79 because 79 is just an onslaught of balloons, which is a little scary to say, but hey. I mean, worst case scenario, we take down the main mob with this guy, and then the next one's super easy too, so not a big deal, but I think we're actually going to get it. Oh my gosh, this the wizard is so good. Like, if you're not using him, you should use him. Now, let's just grab Spirit of the Forest, and now we are golden. Let's grab this little lizard, lizard one. Why did I call lizard one? And why is he on strong? Oh my gosh, we could have lost to that, but let's just leave him on strong. I forgot that was like an update where it changes it. Forget that every time. I forgot it last night on the stream as well. But the bummer is that his blue vines are the best vines, obviously. And since he's all the way down here, it's a little ugly. Maybe we should have put him like somewhere. I don't know. You can't just really put him up there. If we had a Chinook, we could move him. That'd be pretty cool. But next thing we're going to do is we're just going to put a village and we're going to make sure it's just barely in the range of the sniper here because i'm trying to get quincy in there if he doesn't end up in there it's not that big of a deal yeah he didn't make it i even had quincy like all the way up to where his right arm is and it wasn't enough to get him in there so that that's kind of a bummer then we're gonna get grow blocker and radar scanner so now this guy can see camo and i believe this guy's even stronger now too because his main attack like has more power now not that i ever use them for his main attack he only used them for his vines but you know whatever helps one downside of using the main Moab early on before you get Cripple Moab is this. It takes forever because it just sits there and stalls everything for 16 days. You'll have ZOMG sit at the top of the screen where nobody can attack and it just takes forever. So once we get Cripple Moab because of the update prior to this update, he is stronger than ever and can just start destroying these balloons with his shots because right now he's his only thing is that he stalls he's doing some good damage but he's just a staller and it takes forever it ruins our graveyard it makes him attack slow Ugh, all around just ugly let's see how we do against some ddt's we should be okay since we do have the cripple moab yeah that's so easy oh my gosh but we still need four thousand dollars it's just it never ends it takes forever 
Okay, here we go. We should get it. Cripple Moab. Come on. Okay, there we go. Now when he starts attacking, you're going to see, look, he's one-shotting these Moabs. He doesn't even care. Two-shotting them because they're fortified. Boom, 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 boom. And then those ZOMGs aren't going to be nothing against us. Even 98 is not going to be an issue. Now the next thing I would like to do here is I want to get a glue gunner to help out a little bit more on this right side. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide it down like this all the way to the right. And if you did it right, you're going to have a little bit of space there. But as you can see, it's not really touching the track. But it doesn't matter with this guy. He has like crazy range because the Moabs are so big. So when the Moabs are like barely in its spot, it'll still hit him. So we're going to get Moab glue, put him on strong, and then he'll stop any like DDTs or anything like that. No big deal. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to grab a ninja. And we're going to get him up to Bloon Sabotage for $5,600. And that's going to help us out maybe during 95. We might need to use it if we can get it in time. I think I should have bought him before I bought this one. Oh, well. We'll be okay. Don't worry about it. Oh, we're still good. Okay, so buy Bloon Sabotage so it can regenerate. And then what we're going to do is if the DDTs are a little too crazy for us, we're going to send them back the other way. But we need this guy's graveyard to like go up, not down. So we might have to use this little Bloon Sabotage thing. So let's see, we got DDTs, they're coming out, but honestly, the Cripple Moab is so good, we don't even have to use it. How broken is that? That is crazy. But what we can also do here is get primary training. So now, boom, this guy gets even more range, and now he's in the track a little bit better. It's crazy how the right towers just make this stuff so easy. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to grab one of these guys, and we're going to turn him into a first strike capability because we want him to take out the, the bad for us. Because the only thing we really have fighting the bad is going to be him, which is great because his damage is just unbelievable. But we want to make it a little bit easier on ourselves. 97 is a complete cinch because we have this guy just stalling them in place forever and destroying them. Look at that damage go up. Almost a thousand. Just boom, 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 boom. 98 is really the only scare in this whole run. But I don't think it will be. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we are going to change things up a little bit. But I'll just slow it down and make it even easier for us all. So what I do here is like as soon as the, the, the guys get right here, we're going to move this guy to first and then we're going to hit the slow down button. I know that's a lot of work and you guys will be like, dude, come on, why are you making me do all this? But all we did was we wait for the Moabs to get here and then we hit the ability and we change them to first. And the reason why we're doing that is because we just want to make sure that this isn't too overwhelming for our guys down here. And since he can just pretty much double shot these Moabs, we're just getting rid of all the BFBs for our teammates. We're helping them out. And then we're going to grab first strike capability just like we planned. We'll grab glue splatter because why not make him a little bit stronger here. And then since we only have ZOMGs left, let's go back to strong. I know that was a walkthrough and a lot of work, but you guys can handle it. It's not that tough and it'll help you out with later maps when they get a little bit tougher and crazier, things like that. Now, this one uh, will be okay because it's fortified DDTs, but the Cripple Moab is so great. But if we feel like we need to, we can slow him down and let the, let the Cripple Moab do his work. But as you can see, we don't even need to do it now. There are two ways to knock out round 100. One is to just hit this button right away and let them destroy it. Or you can do the timing thing where you wait for all of his little things to be there and you time it out right. But let's not do any of that. Just first strike him one time. This guy will get him down to pretty much no health. And then we'll just take him down the good old fashioned way. You can slow it down if you want to. It doesn't really matter. Look how fast we're going to destroy this thing. You could slow it down if you want to right, right now and then use this ability and then use Quince's ability. Why not? Use this ability you can't even use, but this is definitely 100% game. Black Border, Insta Monkey, whatever you want to call it. We got a 301 Druid. That's not bad. And there you have it. And if you enjoyed that, then I think you're going to like this video where we take on what seems to be an impossible round 98. The money is scarce. The balloons are strong. What are we going to do?